Multi-drug resistant TB is a rising problem and we know that the only way to address TB will be to um, treat TB infection and prevent it from turning into active disease. That's really the only way that we can approach elimination for TB. And TB is the leading killer of people with HIV around the world. What we see is a lot of countries which are not even using the uh, technologies which have been around for decades. The, the good new tools that we do have are very rarely used in places where there are many people who are co-infected by TB and HIV. So we need these short regimens and new drugs coming into our region and getting it registered as quickly as we can. There's not nearly enough collaboration, even though this is a shared fight between the TB community and the HIV community. There are very small um, people working in the field, especially in tuberculosis. What I realize here is that civil society is really not involved that much on TB yet, and there is a real need of increasing capacity, um, empowering the community, and getting more people involved. I think there's a really big need for HIV and TB advocacy community to work more together, learn from each other what has worked and what hasn't worked. HIV activists should definitely care about TB and think about that as a big part of their portfolio. Right now, there's a funding gap of about $1.4 billion to really get the new tests and drugs and diagnostics that we need. I think, especially in Europe, countries can do a lot more to help fill that funding gap. The WHO Europe region is the wealthiest of the WHO regions, but it has the worst treatment outcomes for MDR-TB. And frankly, the MDR-TB in this region is not managed. There is very little political will to work on TB and to eliminate TB. That translates into a lack of funding, that translates into uh, a lot of legal barriers that still exist and that need to be taken away uh, in order to have TB elimination. What we're trying to do is to spread that knowledge so that there can be greater advocacy around specific things which are needed to address the gaps at the local level. We are really thinking about patients and how to be useful for them and how to use such meetings to gather more information and gather more context that can influence on the situation that we have in Ukraine. This meeting is very, very important because everything is interconnected. HIV persons that have been working on the field since years, they have achieved results. So I think that by relying on their achievement, we'll be able to do the same like in the field of tuberculosis. We would like to stay connected to really kind of help mobilize people around tuberculosis, not only in Eastern Europe and Central Asia, but also as tuberculosis is entering Europe in Western Europe. The first priority needs to be making sure that every person is tested, and every person has access to an appropriate treatment regimen. And so we really need to have more advocacy for um, funding for research for TB, for HIV, and for TB and HIV together coming from the European states. We can, we can learn a lot from each other and we can definitely work closer together in the future to, to put the pressure on the developers to bring um, a cheaper, uh, less toxic, shorter regimens to the market and. Uh, the Europeans can definitely help as well. I think also the political level has a very important position to facilitate uh, dialogue for the stakeholders to meet also, um, commit to, uh, to support initiatives to provide funding as well, but also to, to really make political statements. We hope that in near as half a year we'll have registration of the decline in Ukraine and patients will receive their drugs and they will not die. Our members need this partnership from EATG to understand that they have this international collaboration and hand of friendship, maybe. It's really great to be working with EATG that has such a long history of activism in the HIV space and work with you guys more um, to do TB advocacy. We need to fight for uh, access, we need to fight for price reduction, with uh, active actions, street actions, we don't need to be afraid and then we will receive what we should have.